Hey, what is up guys? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Luma key effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. In last class, we have learned how you can use ultra key effect to remove green screen. And Luma key is a little bit like green screen removing, but you are just dealing with luminance, right? So let's see how you can use Luma key effect in Premiere Pro. So here I have prepared some video to show you how you can use Luma key effect. The first one is how you can use a subscribe button if that subscribe button contains a black background. Usually when you are using this kind of lower art or buttons, then you have to use the essential graphics template. That is the practical way. But if you have a button that includes a black background, you have to use Luma key effect, right? So first you have to select that video. Then you have to go to here, which is effects panel. If you don't see effects panel, then you have to go to here, which is window. And from here you have to click on effects right then you have to search for luma key search for luma key and then just apply this one which is under the video effects keying folder then you will see luma key effect right click and drag this effect on top of your video right and then you will see the black background is vanished so how that is happened if i go here on this effects control panel if you don't see then go to windows and then here on this effects control now if you scroll down you'll see luma key effect have been applied there are two difference value that you can adjust under luma key effect one is threshold and other one is cut off right so if i increase the threshold what is happening the black colors or the dark colors the value that contains the darkest luminance is eliminated right and if i decrease that threshold and if I increase the cutoff, then what is happening? It is eliminating the lightest part of my video, which is the white colors and others colors that contains higher luminance value, right? So this is the two properties that you can adjust to edit whatever you want. So here I want to eliminate the black colors. What I have to do, I have to adjust the value of threshold. If I increase that, then you will see the black colors is eliminating that's it now if i play it back you'll see the subscribe button is pretty visible right so that was the basic but you can use luma key effect in different ways suppose you want to replace the sky from a video if the video is a static video shot then you can use luma key effect to remove or replace the sky right so let's see how you can do that so here is my video if i turn off the visibility then you can see there is a sky background here under the video so I want to use this sky background image as a sky replacement for this sky, right? So how you can do that? First, you have to use Luma key effect on top of your first layer. Then you will see the video is not behaving as we wanted, right? Because here on this video, there are a lot of colors value, right? There are a lot of luminous value of color. Suppose the sky color is very bright. Again, the reflection here on the water is very bright. So when you want to replace the sky, from this video you have to make a mask so that you can use the luma color effect very easily so first let's make a mask if i select the video then if i go to here on this effects control panel i will see there are three different options to make mask here on this video i will use free drop bezier select that and then just make a wrap mask here on this video just like that you don't have to make a very perfect mask just make a mask that cover the sky right i'm just making it 10 percent and then i'm just making it just like that okay so here you can see the luma color effect is just applying here on this part of the sky so that is what i want now we have to adjust the threshold and cut up to key out the sky right so i'm just decreasing the threshold here and i'm increasing the cut up maybe this much if I just disable the sky, then you'll see the king work very perfectly. I'll adjust a little bit more. Okay, perfect. If I enable the sky now, then you'll see the sky have been replaced, right? You can adjust the mask federer from here to blend it more perfectly. If I increase the blend a little bit more. So here is the replacement. 
Now if I flay it back, you'll see that sky have been replaced properly, right? And the last one is you can use luma key effect to make a transition. If you want to make luma fit transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, then you can use luma key effect, right? So let's see how you can use luma key effect to make a luma fit transition. So here is a video. This is a structure and I want to transition from this video to this video, right? So to make a luma key transition or luma fit transition, you need to overlap the clips with each other, right? So first you have to select the video and then you have to take the video on the second layer and then you can make overlap here. If you want to overlap the video maybe for 15 frames then you can select the first video then press shift and then alter option then you can press the right arrow key it will take the video 5 frames ahead right. Again alt or option then shift and then right arrow key again again right. Now the video is overlapping with each other for 15 frames. Select the top video and go to here on the effects panel. Click and drag the luma key effect here. Then go to effects control panel. From here you have to animate the keyframe for the luma key effect. Just you have to decrease the threshold value of luma key. Then make a keyframe here. Then keyframe here. Then go to at the end part of this video. Maybe here. Then you can increase the threshold and the cutoff below so that it can transition from that clip to this clip right just like that now you can select the effects control panel you can double click here to make the effects control panel bigger and from here you have to select the second two frame and click and drag it to take it at the end of the timeline right just like that now right click and make it easy in select the first two keyframe and right click then make it ease out now if you press tilde key or if you just double click here on the effects control panel it will minimize just like that if i play it back now you'll see the video is transitioning between the first clip to second clip using a luma fed effect right if i play it back a great transition right so that's all that is how you can use luma key effect in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye